try to Hey, look at the cross. Look. There's not a big one of that, isn't it? Touch it. Okay. Mama, Mama, yep. that iguanodon, yes? Yeah. It's getting scratched by yeah. the shark tooth, and now the shark, now the iguanodon is scratching the shark tooth. True. Iguanodon, is that that one? Is um, is it a herbivore? That one? What? The iguanodon. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there we go. Iguanodon was a large, slow plant eater that relied on its bulk and large thumb spikes to, de to deter enemies. Because it, what I've noticed about this iguanodon, there's loads of specimens around of them. They look but, a little bit like the rough ones, but the, the, the rough ones are more the carnivorous, the carnivorous one, isn't it? Yeah. And with the plant eaters, because that one it has a similar body structure. And that's why I guess it has to have that thumb to fight when necessary, because I think they're about the same size, yeah? yeah. It's not so much as the same size, but they're the same kind of like way of doing things. It could be the carnivorous ones are more, the, the more rough. Yeah, and the herbivore seems to be more. Oh, oh, more oh, 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 no, 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 no. What, what? Yeah, no, that's the one where you probably say that big face. Look at this big one there. What is this? Ooh. It's a horn. Look, Triceratops brow horn as it would have appeared in well, life. It's not a real one. <laughs> Hold on. I mean. Oh, yeah, yay. Yeah. A Triceratops big horn. Yeah. I actually think the, the shark to just scratch, scratched one part. True, and look, this one here is, I think that might have been the original one. Then they started getting the horns, because when they got the horns, that's when they were getting more fierce. Might, that might have been in the Jurassic stage. Triceratops had three long horns mounted on the huge skull with a bony frill to protect its neck. But I Yes, as you were saying about the carnivores and the herbivores, that's why it's always more, um, yes, more, more balancing to be an omnivore rather than just being one way. Because the carnivores, carnivores are more rough, right? More animalistic. And then the plant, one minute, babe. And then the plant-based or the plant eaters, they're more docile. Okay. But if we have a bit of both which is the omnivore, then you'll be more balanced because you're not so rrr, and you're not so oh, you know? And that's the thing with being vegan and being a meat eater, we should just be both. And we can't survive, like really thrive with just one or the other. We can survive, but we don't thrive that way. Anyways, what's that, what do you think?